Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soper over at Royal Appleberry and I need to pull up my pants before they end up on the floor. But, <laughs> today I am cutting, um, what did I name this soap? Man Bun. And Man Bun is fucking awesome guys. Oh my goodness, let me tell you. And I forgot to got, tell you guys that, oh, Facebook and these like online garage sales are amazeballs, let me tell you. Because, um... I have been needing, I mean, well, you guys here in all of my videos, me fussing about, but before I start that, look at this. How gorgeous is this soap, right? So, again, this was the look I was trying to achieve on my, uh, Taken for Granted, uh, which was the one I did the, kind of in the pot swirl, that was the last video. But, this was what I was looking for, and I got it so happy. But, yeah, so, oh, and it heated up, so it did crack. And I did make some little grooves in it because it was just a wee bit too plain. So I did catch it and I put it in the fridge last night. So I'm in love with my dehumidifier. Again, like I was saying, I was I got a message or a notification from one of these groups. I think it was Macomb Swap and Sell, No Drama, uh, something like that. Um, but yeah. So it was about something totally different other than what I was looking for, but I just went to peruse and see what they had. And there was a young lady uh, not too far from my job selling a dehumidifier, and it's a big one. <laughs> and I priced it a long time ago, and the thing was like 280 bucks. Guess what, guys? I got it for $45. <laughs> and it works amazing. So it's just been really helping out, and the humidity in here is just like crazy. So, it kind of stays between, like when I first turned it on, it's at 65, but then it'll drop down to 45, and it stays between 45 and 50, so, um, I love the thing, and I let it run for, like the first day, it was, it had ran for 30 minutes, and it, the, I think it's like 50 quarts, it was half full at that point, just after 30 minutes, so, I'm just gauging, because I don't want to over dry my soaps, but, um, I think I figured it out, and right now it's just amazing, guys. I'm in love with that humidifier, and it does help, and it does help with the cure time as well. So, this is gorgeous. I do like that a lot. Oh, I love this. Oh, you know what? Before I came in here, because I told you guys I'm coming up with a new section in my store uh, called the funny side of things, and I just came up with a cool name, and now I don't remember what I said. Gosh darn it. But anywho... So, um, yeah, this man bun is going to go in that section of the store. Nothing wrong with those soaps. They're just, I like the different funny names. So, that's why I'm starting a different section. Because my thing has always been, like, you guys know I'm silly. <laughs> and I've always wanted to name my soap some crazy things. But I've always been fearful of offending people. And, of course, no, these names aren't going to be, like, anything ridiculous. But, um... I said, you know what? It's my business. <laughs> so I'm going to name myself whatever I want to name them. And I, for the most part, I do. But I try to keep it, you know, fun. And these are really fun. But um, I'm not going to give out any of the names right now. You'll see them when they're in the stores. Not offensive, but some people are just like super sensitive. Because I've been told, you know, sometimes people don't like what I say. But, wow, well, <laughs> it's my store and I can name it whatever I like. So, um, enough of that. But yeah, I do have some fun stuff, and I do like the man bun for this. And, uh, of course, it's not strictly for men with men buns. Even though I think they're hot, you know, it's kind of a 50-50 on that. But I, I like to see them on men, I really do. Only if it's done right, you know? Because everyone cannot pull them off. But this is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. And that little dollop. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm a big fan of this soap already. And it is exactly what I wanted. So, I think when I was thinking that, um, I think when I was thinking, <laughs> when I was thinking that my soap needed to be thicker to achieve the layering swirls that I wanted, actually they need to be thinner. So look, I learned something new. But yes, I like this. It's very nice. I like the colors together. I don't know how I came up with these colors. Let's see, I got a wee bit of, um, um, uh, what's the name of that stuff? <laughs> Glycerin Rivers. But, oh well, it's a man soap. Or unisex. It could be unisex most definitely. But it um, it smells like a very, as I described it, a handsome cologne. It is a very handsome fragrance, if that makes any sense to you. 
but I am very happy with the way this turned out. I am, I am, I am. And that dehumidifier has just been love. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm telling you, just the difference in my soaps, how fast. Mm, that smells great. How fast they've been curing, opposed to, you know, how it's been going. Because it's been like crazy humid in here, guys. I mean, to the point, just, I'll come in here and there's soaps that are like seven eight months old and they were like wet i'm like what in the hell of it is going on here this is not cool and i know the reason why because this my soaping studio is very tiny and there's not a lot of air circulating in here and i only can open one window because i have a huge rack in front of the other one so um it's just not getting the air circulation that it needs but the dehumidifier is amazeballs so so happy about that and i made this soap I think Gabe and I started soaping at 8 o'clock at night, and, um, what time is it now? It's 12 noon the next day, and, um, I actually took this out of the fridge 9 o'clock this morning, and I could have cut it then, but I just wanted to let it sit for a while, so, yay for the dehumidifier. <laughs> it's just gonna make everything so much better. <laughs> so... I got, well, you know, I've had a couple of people contact me for wholesale and it's always been a thing where they're like, oh, I would love to carry your soaps in my store. And then I'm like, yay, you know, I would love to have my soaps in your store. And then I never hear from them again. So <laughs> I've had that happen like three times. Well, one, it was um, a lady that worked for a company and she was like a buyer, but her boss had just they had just moved to a new store and spent way too much money and she's like not right now so I never heard from her again and then um, I had one lady contact me from Etsy uh, saying that she wanted to carry my stuff in her store and I said you know I'm all about it and then I never heard from her ever after that so I'm like oh okay so <laughs> um so I did get another request here in Michigan someone just opened a store and they would like to carry my products in their store and I'm like super super duper stoked about that so just guys pray for me that all things go well you know we get it up and running because that would be good that would be really really good and then yesterday um i got a notification from instagram that i was tagged in a photo and i'm just like ah whatever you know because <laughs> no one really sees my face because i rarely i don't i don't take pictures so i'm like what photo of me and i thought maybe myself but anywho um it was someone telling people to tag their favorite soapers soap makers uh in that post and they were opening a store in new york and were looking for handmade soaps so to contact them i'm like thank you honey bunnies that was so sweet of you for the lady that tagged me in it as her favorite soap artist so i actually contact them hopefully i'll be hearing something from them so if i can get some wholesale orders which i didn't have any feelings one way or the other towards wholesale but i would really like to i'm not going to take on too many because i don't want to get overwhelmed but um I just the blessings are coming in guys they are so I'm like super happy and this side of this soap is just beautiful if I can get that effect you know in the front that whew, that's what I'm looking for but anywho <laughs> yeah this um this turned out really really nice and I'm looking forward to the whole wholesale thing so I just got finished doing my line sheet for this lady and um I gotta do my wholesale order form and all the stuff that's not fun but brings in fun stuff, you know? So, <laughs> that's what I've been working on and I'm so sad I got a master batch boohoo. Um, I have nothing left. I have to master batch. I hate master batching, but <laughs> no master batching, no soap because I am not the one who pour, pours oil for every batch of soap. But that's just craziness to me. I make like 10 to 12 batches at a time. So, my man bun is awesome. I love this soap. Man, I'm like really in love with this soap right now. <laughs> and um, I got the perfect inch soap. Look at that. And I get to keep this beautiful back on it. So, that's the front. And that's the back. I love that back. Oh, if I can get that on all of my soaps throughout, that would be balls. So, that's it for man bun. Now, we're going to cut my baby Gaby soap in his... He named um, Snow Kissed Snow Kissed Pine, 
but he said he wants to change it so we will come up with something for it I'm not sure but um hmm, I need some room so let me move that out of the way and get this one here so I actually just popped this one out of the mold his mold right before I started recording I took it out of the mold and um, it's nice, you know, it's nice and ready to go. So again, yay to that dehumidifier. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and save myself some time and uh, bevel this one now. I got up this morning and ran to Michael's because I love Michael's. And they had their 50% off. Because I always miss their fucking 50% off sales. So, today was the last day. It was only a two-day So I said, oh, not this time. Can you get your honey up and get going? So, I did. And I went to the Indian groceries to get some sunflower oil because I was all out for this dreadful master batching I have to do. I got a couple of um, containers of lye I can do, but I still got a master batch that, too. Not looking forward to that at all. So, let me go ahead and pick this up so I can um, bevel the edges makes life easier thank you Clyde Yoshida you're a genius because he does this to all of his soaps so when it's time to play and bevel them they already done on the edges <laughs> at least on a few sides so you have less work to do so turn this upside down Oop. oh I put a little smashy bit in there oopsies and this one smells really nice. And again, I, you guys know, I'm not a piney person, but this one smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it kind of has like a, a cologne note to it. And it's very fall, you know, it's most definitely for the fall. I know you guys are just like, uh, could you show us what you're doing? <laughs> I would, but I'm on the very edge of the table and I'm trying to hold this up without mashing the edge, so... I'm almost done. Almost. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's all I need to do. So, I already did the edges. That way, when I cut it, I don't have to do it then. Alright, so. Where's my lid? And I should have done that for my man bun. But somebody wasn't thinking because the excitement got in the way. So, I'm starving. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I should have ate before I started this, but I was excited to come in here and cut these soaps. So Gabe has just been really, you know, showing out. <laughs> because his soaps are just getting more and more gorgeous. Uh, Gabe, look at you, fancy pants. I'm so proud of him, and I always say that. But I really, really am, because I know even a lot of you say, how do you get... Oh, Gabe. Oops! Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Thankfully, it was just the edge, but Gabe, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, look at you, man. I'm, my baby is showing out. I'm so happy. But um, that is gorgeous. Um, he should be very, very proud of this one. Because he said last night, he goes, Babe, I think your soap is better than my ass. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. You don't know because you haven't cut it yet. But that's a gorgeous soap. I love it. And I really like the green base. Loves it, okay? But, yeah, he's just... A lot of you uh, have said how do you get, you know, your hubbies or your fiancés or, you know, your mates to make soap with you. I didn't really have to put in any effort. He asked to. So I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. You know, he really asked me, can I start making soap with you? I said, yeah. So, <laughs> um, oh, look at this soap. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Gabe, look at that soap. He is going to be so proud if he's not slap face because you should be proud of this most definitely. That is beautiful. Oh, look at that. I know I'm gushing all over the place, but I can't help it. He did a beautiful job. I am so in love with this soap right now. So, yeah, good on you, baby cakes. Good on you. He should be extremely proud of this. Absolutely, because this is one a gorgeous soap. Has a pretty face. A very, very pretty face. <laughs> so. And then it's just like his pores are just so effortless. You know, he just swirls and goes and not even make a mess. And I'm over here throwing soap everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what goes on with me. <laughs> but his soap is beautiful. He, he, he gets it. So, 
I'm lucky. I am very, very lucky to have someone who just comes in and listen and didn't take very much effort, you know, learning at all. This is Gabe's what? Um, his fourth soap ever in life. <laughs> so he gets it. I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away with this one. I really am. And you can see if you guys watch from his very beginning one to this one, the improvement just that fast. So yeah, he, he should really have something to be proud about. He's at work right now, so I can't really bother him, but I will sneak in a text and show him his gorgeous soap because this pour is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just, again, I'm in love with this green base. I don't know what in the hell it goes on with me. Like when I make uh, colored bases, not all of them, but um, the last few that I had, I didn't post those videos because I just wasn't in love with those soaps. Uh, you'll see them in my shop because, one, they got like crazy glycerin rivers. And when I want the Fuku glycerin rivers, they're just like, nope, we're not coming. But when I don't want them, they're just like, hey, where's the party? So, <laughs> um, I did a purple one. Um, matter of fact, since you guys aren't going to see the uh, video, you know, I might post it. I think, yeah, I will anyway but um i did a purple base and it was just a funky color purple but he nailed this green didn't he i mean that is just love 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 and he was really concerned that this was going to end up looking like my avocado so but it looks nothing like it <laughs> so maybe he'll be the one to do the colored bases because he nailed this one for certain absolutely and speaking of color bases um, I have a custom order that I have to do that's going to have a black color base. Okay, yeah, I can pull off a black. Yeah, woohoo. You know, but this green, he just got it. He really, really got it. And he wanted to use a tall skinny, and I'm so happy that he did because this soap is perfect for this, this shape. The, these swirls, that just, that looks really good. I think it, it would have looked good in a regular loaf mold, but this just really complements it even more. <sighs> so, um proud 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 right now <laughs> uh oh there's something i was going to tell you guys i don't know so um yeah but i'm really i like these so together and two these two fragrances even though one is cologne and one's like a pine they smell really good together i mean really good i'm just man i can't get over his swirl <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. It's so delicate. Man, he nailed that one. I mean, he nailed that one. Wow. I know I keep talking about it, but sorry. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I, I'm, I'm very proud. So. <laughs> now, if I could just get Hunter, which is never going to happen. And for those of you who don't know who Hunter is, Hunter is my daughter, my 18-year-old daughter. She's like, ah, uh, yeah, I got things to do, and it's not with you. So, <laughs> yep, she's just not into it. That would be great if I could get her into it, but yeah, wishful thinking, all that. But um, at least I do have somebody to soap with me. And it just so happened to be my honey gabe, so very happy. I just put two pieces together, and that just makes a gorgeous picture. Absolutely gorgeous picture, so I'm going to have to watch uh this video the making video over and over and over again so i can steal his technique and yeah we should instill from other soap makers but he's mine so i can do that because <laughs> these swirls are just kind of crazy crazy gorgeous so yeah he's gonna be super proud and oh i hope you guys can't hear my stomach because my stomach is just like uh hurry up and feed me but anywho oh so I actually did a video some time ago and never posted it, but um, when I was doing my bubble bars and all that fun stuff, oh, and also, I'm just skipping all over the place, so these will be in my shop, um, I made these, <laughs> oh, about three months ago, and I forgot to take pictures, but, oh, that smells yummy, and I don't even like lavender, but that smells really good, um, I guess, I don't know, when it's right off the bottle, it's just like, oh, God. But because it's been a while, it actually calmed down and it smells pretty nice. But anywho, so I was in my bath bomb making video. I talked about uh, making bath bombs and having, and my bubble bars, mostly my bubble bars, having a uh, stand mixer, KitchenAid. So, guys, um, I did not go out and buy. I've just been lucky with uh, Craigslist and what have yous. Um, I got not one, but two KitchenAid mixers for a very good price. I got them for 
cheaper than I would have if I bought one new one. And they're both in great condition. So, um, you guys will be seeing that when I uh, make some more bubble bars or whatever I'm going to make. But yeah, I've just been super lucky with the Facebook uh, garage sales, the virtual on online garage sales and things like that. Guys, I'm telling you, everything I need, I've been getting. So, yay, super yay. But, um... Oh, that's going to be a nice sample. So I have a bit of a dilemma too because when I go to my craft fairs and this one is beauteous. Isn't that gorgeous? That's really pretty. These swirls, I'm not just saying that because, you know, Gabe is my mate. These swirls are like advanced level swirls. Don't you guys agree? They really are. <laughs> I've not even made swirls like this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm... <sighs> I'm blown away. But anywho, uh, yeah, so I have a dilemma, which is not really a dilemma, because I like to take these uh, ends and I give them out as samples to my customers. Every customer gets samples. And sometimes I give away full size things depending on how much you buy. But um, I kind of need to keep like a piece. Because normally I just take a little teeny piece to my craft fairs and they'll smell those. But I would like to have a bigger piece because, you know, the little ones, after so long, they lose their scent after they've just been hanging out for a long time. So I got to figure out what to do to still be able to give you all samples, have enough samples and to have a little piece left for, you know, my craft fairs. So that's something I got to figure out. Yes. But luckily, um... Like, in a case like this where we have extra soap over when we use the tall skinny molds because Gabe did pour these. So, I can use those. That's no problem. But, like, my man bun, um, I don't have any left. I only have this one uh, piece that I cut off, which I can't pick up because it's stuck to the table right now. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, how do I give that out as a sample and then still have a piece left for my craft fair? I don't know. So, <laughs> that's something I gotta figure out because, of course, I don't leave my soaps open. I don't want people handling them like that. But, I did just order some uh, breathable shrink wrap. Can I get this out? This is the remaining batter left from Gabe Soap. And yes, um, Snow Kiss Pine. It kind of fits that soap, but I have two pieces sitting together. I just have to show you guys because it is beauteous. And hopefully I don't take an edge off of this. So when I have uh, some that have extra, you know, like the tall skinny moles, that's not a worry. But anywho, that's my problem, not you guys. So we'll talk about that on some other day. So I'm going to show you. Wow, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm really speechless as to how beautiful his soaps are. So I'm going to actually... I'm going to turn the camera off for a sec and come back and show you guys while I'm just sitting here. So, hold on. So, yeah. Look at that. Gabe. Mm -mm -mm. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soap. It is absolutely gorgeous. And there's mine. And they look just amazing. Absolutely amazing sitting here. So, I, I'm as soon as I'm done with you all, I am going to most definitely snap some shots and send it to him and hopefully you know well he'll get to see him on his break but he did good so guys that is it i am leaving so i can go eat because i am starving if you like this video and please be sure if nothing for me give a big fat thumbs up for gabe soap he deserves it most definitely show him some love i mean for every one of you that watch please give him a thumbs up for that swirl because that swirl is awesome and i'm not just saying that you know but you any new soap maker if you can pull something off like that then you have a very very good future ahead in soap making so that is also a lesson to new soap makers just know you know gabe of course a lot of people are like well he has you to teach him but I, I had nothing to do with those swirls. He did all that on his own. I have not even pulled off anything that looks like that. So, yeah. Um, be inspired by this soap and know that you beginning as a soap maker, you can do this too and always do your research, you know, because we want to be careful during soap making. And just because I tell you things don't mean, you know, that you shouldn't do your own research. You got to research everything, you know, uh, because it's everything is always different for everybody in your climate and everything affects your soap making so with that being said guys love hugs and kisses be awesome and amazing at everything you do if you didn't watch the making cut uh, video be sure to go back to my home page and watch it there 
And again, give a big fat thumbs up for Gabe Soap because he deserves it. I'm probably shaking you guys out of place. But guys, that's it. That's all until next time. I'll see you later. Bye.